Welcome to Sheffield University, where an army of antweights are about to fight it out to be crowned champion of Sheffield Roboteers Rumble. The competition is double elimination. So in the first round, the robots will fight in head-to-heads, with the winners advancing to the next round and the losers being relegated to the lower bracket. A win will keep them in the competition, but a loss will send them home. Now, the first battle was going to be fan favourite Life and Death Resurrected against Wedge. But both these robots have the same driver, who elected to put Life and Death through so Wedge can compete in the lower bracket. So the actual first battle will be... Torklift and Smack. Torklift seeded second is a favourite here, but Smack, which is short for Stoke Me a Clipper, has a sort of combination hammer spinner weapon, which looks formidable. So, let's get down to the arena. So, for our first fight of our final for the Robo Rumble, we have... Torklift in the left, and on the right, Smack. Stoke me a clipper, it stands for, apparently. Roboteers, are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one, activate. Smack very quickly spinning up, while Torklift very slowly travels towards Smack. Smack now reaching a reasonable speed, and Torklift is upside down, taking some damage to his left hand tire. Torklift now driving upside down, unable to do much damage, and that is Torklift's name off the front. Smack is looking to hit Torklift out of the gap, but has instead taken a chip out of Torklift's tyre, and now Torklift is being spun back to his starting position. Smack has got him, in, got him in the corner there. This is the first time that, I believe, Smack has been uh, taking part in these combat events, and is in fact the first spinner that Peter, the current driver of Smack, uh, is driving in this event, and he is using it to very uh -oh. good ground control uh, advantage here, managing to keep Torklift in the top left quarter quadrant of the arena for a lot of the fight, although his spinner has just spun down, but uh, it was not enough for Torklift to manage to get close to Smack. I'm beginning to hear a, a little bit of a sort of ticking noise that every time that Smack begins to speed up. I wonder if this will prove detrimental in the future, though at this point, it looks almost like Smack is just playing with Torklift, but I do think I see a concerted effort to try and get Torklift into the pit or off the edge. Torklift has now had some damage done to one of its tyres, losing some traction on its left wheel. Torklift's uh, tactics seem to revolve around mostly debutting the hits from Smack with his uh, front pad. I'm not entirely sure that Torklift can... Oh, and Torklift is out of the arena! Very close there, but Smack had almost lost its right wheel, and that is a win to Smack. Yeah, I can probably put that back on. Yeah, oh, okay, you're taking some damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cable tie, uh, which one? There. That panel. That's an easy fix. It's not really damage, it's just. Uh, I'm surprised it's managed to launch Torklift out the, uh, out the arena. Uh, well, it's more bad design on my part. The, uh, these screws that hold the motor in sometimes come out because uh, it's bad. Been weird. Apart from that, uh, no. Good. Just tightening things up, turning it off. And after that epic first battle, Smack advances to the next round, smacking Torklift out of the arena and into the lower bracket. Now for a battle that would have taken place last round if we had enough competitors. Oof and Triang Wheelie Hard, which has an interesting triangular design, but no real weapon. Although, I'm hearing from the pits that Oof's bar spinner isn't operating either. So, this could be evenly matched. Let's go and see. Okay, so, uh, next up we have on the left, Oof, with currently non-working spinner, and on the right, Triang Wheelie Hard. Roboteers, are you ready? Uh, yeah. Three, two... One, activate. Triangle really hard, trying to get close to Oof. Oof trying, trying to get in there and push Triangle really hard out of the arena. 
And Oof is currently circling Triangle Wheelie really Hard and pushing it closer to the pit. Triangle Wheelie really Hard struggling to try to do anything. Uh, currently struggling to... Oh, and Triangle Wheelie really Hard is in oh. the pit, maybe at the same time as Oof I'm not entirely sure. That, would go, that goes to the judge. Although both went in the pit at the same time, Oof was the aggressor, so they win the match. Trying really hard will have to try and make the best of the lower bracket. And next up, Doombar and Yeet. Doombar is the fifth seed, while Yeet is seeded 16th. Both vertical spinners and oh, this is gonna be good. In the right square, we have Yeet, and in the left square, we have Doombar. Rubatiers, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, three, two, one, activate! Both robots spinning up, and they drive towards each other, they're probably gonna collide. Uh, and three, two, one. Oh! 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 The Doom Boss just killed itself! As neither robot made contact, they're going to restart the match. Both of you ready to restart? Yeah. Yep, we're going to restart this fight in three, two, one, go! Activate! Even that's what I meant to say. Uh, both spinning up again and driving at each other. Will they actually contact this time? Oh, they do! Oh! Both robots are absolutely obliterated. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, we're gonna count out Doombar. Ten. Yeah, okay, Doombar's dead. Uh, so, the winner by knockout is Yi! <laughs> There's no explosions, oh, yeah. right? No, we got There's nothing up there. There's no, yeah. The battery's completely intact, right. so yeah. fine. I would need some big screws. Here's a flesh wound. Is it okay? Yeah. No, I was wondering where that came from when I realised it's your paper. Yeah. Is this your screw? Is it safe to come out now? So, after that chaotic battle, Doombar is going down and Yeet marches on. And now, the final battle for today. Karen, and wait for it. Wait for it is another fan favorite and seeded sixth in the competition, but 15th seed Karen is said to be extremely powerful. Let's see how this plays out. Next up we have in the left, Karen, who apparently would like to talk to your manager. And in the right, the final new redesign of Wait For It. Roboteers, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, activate. Wait For It very quickly moving. <laughs> Pulls up the tape oh, wait, on the other Yeah, it's not that. Yeah, we're, we're deciding that this is. Oh, it's oh, a man. entanglement of the arena. It's time to stop. The arena wins. Karen. 
And after that epic tussle and a kamikaze move from Wait For It, Karen goes through to the next round. And next time, we continue with the first round. They'll be ramming, smashing, spinning, and winning. See you then. So what are you doing right now, Blue? I'm drinking Coca-Cola in preparation of the talking over the robot fight. Why are you drinking Coca-Cola when it makes you dehydrated? Because it has sugar and caffeine in it. So it allows me to talk longer. <laughs> no, we don't want that. Yes, we do. Yes, we do.